Print on demand has generated a lot of millionaires, but it's probably generated more frustration than anything because a lot of people come into the game thinking it's going to be easy. It's too easy right here. And print on demand is really just a form of fulfilling a product that you are selling online. So print on demand is something that you can leverage. And it's one of the ways that I made a lot of my fortune is by doing e-commerce and using print on demand to leverage products that I cannot create in house, or I just don't have the capabilities to create in speed. So let's talk about print on demand. Print on demand is basically just a way for a company to print and ship a product for you. Most of the time you are just uploading a design that correlates to a product. Sometimes it's a t-shirt, Sometimes it's a sweatshirt. Sometimes it's a mug or even a tumbler, a poster. There's so many different products that you can actually use. There's still some untapped print on demand products that has full on crazy potential that I'll show you at the end of this video. Print on demand that you can use for supplements like protein powders, even cosmetics like lipsticks and so on. So I'll show you that at the end of the video. But with print on demand, this is something that you can use without having to go buy an expensive t-shirt printer or equipment to create a mug or tumbler or even a full on canvas. And the full argument before we start is that it is a little bit more expensive than doing this in house. Yes, that may be true, but even though we have the capabilities to do this in house, it is really difficult whenever you scale to thousands of products to ship out per month and there are thousands of different designs. At this point, you can leverage a print on demand company to handle this frustration for you. So let's go ahead and hop straight into it. There's lots of different types of print on demand websites. The two most popular ones are going to be something like Printify or Printful. These link directly to your website, uh, whether you're selling on Etsy or WooCommerce. Um, some of them have integration with Amazon if you use Autodesk, but there's also other ones, so don't get it confused. There's websites like Redbubble where you can also upload your design on here, but you're pretty much selling on a different type of marketplace. This company already prints and ships your products instead of you connecting it to one of your own storefronts. On here, you are selling directly on their platform. All right, so another website that's similar to Redbubble will be TeePublic. This one is also similar to that as well. So the traffic is not as insane as something like Amazon or even Etsy. The only other ones that I would probably highly recommend would be Amazon Merch On Demand. Otherwise, I would recommend either going with Printify or Printful and linking these with your direct websites or even a marketplace like Etsy or Amazon because those two alone have so much more traffic than something like TeePublic. So as soon as you get started, the first thing you want to do is make an account on the marketplace that you want to get started on. There are other products that we can actually get into. See, if we come on over here and click on catalog, we'll see tons of different products. Here you even have an Apple Watch band. That's really dope. Uh, we got canvas gallery wraps. We have candles. There's tons of different products, but mostly I sell t-shirts, even though the profit margin is not as high, but the, the demand is so high, it makes up for those margins. So let's go ahead and type in shirt. Let's see what's popular. Let's see what's trending. And then that's where we get our ideas from. So the first thing I notice when I type in t-shirt is this groovy style font twice. So I know that's kind of something that's a trending design. I see these floral patterns going on several times over. So that's just going to be a go ahead and do a quick start off of that. Here's another flower t-shirt, um, butterfly. It is going into summertime. So we want to look for something more on that end. Let's just go ahead and do a floral design. So now we're at the point where we need to come up with a design. So most of us think that we need to find a way to create it. And when I first got into the game, I started off really strong with Photoshop and Illustrator. Those are going to be the most industry standard programs for you to use when it comes to design. And this is going to be really great for you if you can be really good at it. But the learning curve is so high that now there's platforms that make these things easier for us. So there's lots of different ways we can get a design. One way I would get one is come on here, type in floral SVG, and this gives, gives us the scalable vector graphic that we would want. So we could download this, and sometimes we can already upload this as a t-shirt design, or we can take this on over to Photoshop and edit it. But if you haven't known by now, here's another one that I like to use, which is called Kittle. This is a really simple design program to use, and they do have some similarities to something like Photoshop. So this can be a beginner step for you to get into a more advanced program. So once you come into here, let's go ahead and type in floral design and see what pops up. 
So here we have a few unique designs. This one right here is probably something that we could use. Um, this one is pretty decent as well. This one right here is really nice. I do want to right here is something that I wanted to incorporate because we saw that groovy style font earlier and that might be something we want to use. So I'm going to open this one up. I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to use this one as well. So I'm going to click and use this design and also click use this design as well. Okay, so I have this design open. What I'm gonna do first is click on settings. Typical t-shirt dimensions are going to be 12 inches wide by about 16 inches in height. So I'm gonna change this to inches and I'm gonna put this as 12 and I'm gonna put this as 16 and hit confirm. And now all of our dimensions seem to have changed. So what we want to do is click control all and then just go ahead and resize it. I'm gonna delete the background real quick. And this is why I say it has some similarities to something like Photoshop or Illustrator. It's because they have layers right here. And this is where you can just click the eyeball tool and you can see the separate layers involved to create this actual design. So I'm gonna remove the background for now. So now the reason why I opened this second one right here is because I just wanted to know the name of this font, which is Sunship. We could also copy and paste this over if we like this actual style that's on this side of the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Control Copy. Then I'm gonna come back to this template over here, click Paste. And now we have this one right here. So now we're gonna put Grow. All right, so I do like this style, but I do want it in this format. So I'm gonna actually click on this one, click Grow. Then we're going to change this font. Okay, so I think I like this colorway better. So what I need to do is delete this. And you see how this has this rise and wave transformation? That's what gives it that groovy look. So we want to delete that. I'm going to bring this on up. We're going to shrink this down. And then we're gonna do the same thing right here. We're gonna click a wave and check that out. Now we're gonna hit copy and paste, bring it on down, type in positive. I'm gonna bring these flowers down. I'm gonna copy and paste this one more time. Type in thoughts. Now we're going to shrink this down. We're going to bring the flowers back in. And now we have a simple design that we made really quick. All we're going to do is click download. You do need the paid version of Kittle to do this. What you want to do is click remove background. And we want to change the DPI, which is our resolution to 300. And one reason why I like to use Kittle compared to other programs is because there's been a lot of talk going around about licensing and as you can see right here with their license agreements you can use this for commercial purposes even print on demand you can use this for physical end products so now back to our design i'm going to save this as a png and now we want to set up shop on one of these marketplaces i highly recommend etsy or amazon because they have so so much traffic all right so what we're going to do is click sign in and then once we click sign in, we can click register. And after you register and you create your account, there'll be a button up top that says sell on Etsy. And you can use this button to start listing on this platform. And now what you'll want to do is sign up for a Printify account. Printify has better margins than most platforms. And once you click get started, you sign up. And once you sign up, you can integrate this to connect it directly to your Etsy store. So all you have to do is click on this drop down, click add new store and check it out. There's plenty of places that you can actually connect to. One other marketplace I forgot about is Walmart. That's a really strong one too. I would recommend connecting with them as well if you want to set up an account with them. So you can set up an account with Walmart, Etsy and Amazon. Those are going to be the most high traffic platforms for you to use. OK, so now all you have to do is click connect to Etsy and it's directly integrated to your Etsy store. So when we list products, it's going to go directly to the platform that we need it to be on so that it's already for sale for our customers to purchase. So once you are connected, go ahead and click on catalog and find the product that you want to use. 
and RN. We're going to use t-shirts. As you can see, there's multiple different prices. With the Printify Premium, it's around $25 per month. But as you can see, you save about a dollar or sometimes two per product. So if you're selling roughly almost 25 t-shirts per month, then it's going to be worth it for you to already get that uh, discounted price. All right, so for RN, I would recommend using something like the Gildan Soft Style. This is a little bit cheaper than the Bella Canvas. The Bella Canvas is still a nice uh, selection. Um, however, this one still feels pretty good and it doesn't cost too crazy. It doesn't cost too much. But Bella Canvas has literally became like a name for blanks nowadays. So I would probably go with Bella Canvas. I will click on it. Now, Printify is more of a middle person. They connect you with other printers and there's a list of different printers on here and you can select the one that you would like or you can scroll all the way up to the top and see which one has the best production time which one has the lowest price which one has the lowest shipping and for me to just give you an extra additional hack i would recommend going to one of these websites directly and you can sometimes integrate directly with those websites and you can get an even better margin all right so for right now all i'm gonna do is click start designing just go ahead and choose one that you like click my device right here and this is where we upload the design that we just downloaded so now it's uploading and then it's going to show up on our t-shirt and here we have it right here and we can click select and this is going to be all the different types of color shirts that we provide this design on now you do have to be careful right here it's going to be a little bit tricky because sometimes our design color might be too close to the color of the t-shirt and it might not show properly so you got to be really selective on your choices of colors that you're going to provide and one extra thing i want you to know is that a lot of customers like these header colors this header kelly the turquoise the header peach all of these header colors do really well now once you're done with that all you have to do is click save product and now you're going to get all of these multiple different types of mock-ups all ready for you to be able to use on your storefront but one thing i do want you to know these mock-ups are not the best People are gonna see it and they might even click off. Some of them do okay. Like this lifestyle photo right here is not too bad. So this is one that you might wanna keep as a secondary photo and not your main photo. For you to get an even better mock-up, just go directly back on Etsy.com and type in T-shirt Bella Canvas mock-up. And there's gonna be tons of T-shirts that look way better. Check out this one right here. This one is a much, much better primary photo. So now once we scroll down, this is where you have to change the title and the description. This is really important because this is how people get to your product. Etsy and Amazon are search oriented marketplaces. You don't need to spend money on ads. You don't need to do any type of extra social media advertising. Although these things do help, at the end of the day, there's already hundreds and hundreds of millions of people coming here every single month. And that's what you want to leverage when selling on a marketplace. This isn't really an ideal website if you want to start a clothing brand. This is something for you to use if you just want to make use of selling what's already in demand and putting your own spin on it. And it's going to be a better idea than most people. You ever just sit down one day and you'd be like, oh, that's a good idea for a t-shirt, but it doesn't really correlate with your brand. This is one of those platforms that you may want to test out your design. All right, so when it comes to the title, you really want to think about the product that you are selling and the niches that it is in. For a design like this, this is really thinking about the mental awareness side. It's very boho, it's very think positive. Really think about it. And then it's for people who likes the floral design. So when you come up with these keywords or you're doing your research, make sure to incorporate this into your title. Think about what people are typing in to get to this actual product. Now here's one Google Chrome extension that you can use that will help you with this. This is called Everbee. And once you install this on Google Chrome, you'll see this little bee on all of your images and you can click on it and you can see the actual keywords that they use uh, to get to this actual product. This is what customers are searching for. And these are going to be keywords you should be using in your actual title. So here you can see flower boho, mental health shirt, inspirational shirt, you matter shirt. All of these keywords are trending and check out the volume. This is how we know which keywords to use. So go ahead and make a mix of those and then include that into your actual title. You also want to include this in your tag once you upload your actual product. Now you scroll all the way down, you'll see your pricing and this is where you want to set your actual price for your customer. So this right here is how much it actually costs us to make this product. So as you can see, 11.19 plus 4.75. Now, 
it ends up costing us around $15.94 to print and ship this product to our customer. This is how much we are paying Printify for this product. The argument, like I was saying earlier, is that a lot of people don't think the margin that you are making will be a lot. And people think you have to sell $25 or $30 to make some good sales. That's not true. You might make a good profit margin at this price point, but you might only get one or two sales every so often. If you start listing at roughly 20 to 21 or even $22 and you make just a little bit of a margin, five, six bucks, then you can work in volume. Now you will see five to six dollars in profit, much more in volume than that 25 to 30 dollar price point. Sometimes a $25, $30 price point might work if you have a listing that's not too competitive, but most of the times these listings can be really competitive. So would you rather have that $25, $30 price point sold once or twice, or would you rather have a $21, $22 product sold hundreds of times? So that's something you really wanna think about when it comes to setting your price. So moral of the story is we have to list this for something more than $16 to see any type of profit. Once you're done here, all you have to do is click publish. Now, once you click publish, it is automatically available for customers to see. Sometimes they might not see your product if you don't have the right keywords. Sometimes they might not click through if you don't have those nice mockups and additional photos. And sometimes they might not convert if you don't have the right price. So there are a few different variables that's gonna help you get an actual sale. Now, anytime you see someone who's really successful doing print on demand or Etsy or selling Amazon or even on their own website, you really have to think about perseverance because there's gonna be so many times you get a design up, you work really hard, you get a listing up, and then all of a sudden you don't see any type of traction. The name of the game is going to be trial and error, trial and error until you get it done right. And then you rinse and repeat. It's really easy to give up whenever you put in 100% of the work and then not see any type of results just yet. Your timing will come the more you get better at it, the more you practice it. So don't let people fool you just because you're seeing people do six and seven figures a year off of just doing this does not mean they're just clicking once or twice. It's a lot of trial and error into it until you get it right. Now, this is one great marketplace. Highly recommend checking out Amazon as well. Their merch on demand side, they don't really approve a lot of people nowadays, but the process is the same. However, merch on demand, Amazon is the fulfiller. But if you can't get access to this, you can still set up an Amazon professional account and then link your print on demand with that. And then you can still print and ship with a different supplier on your Amazon account. Now, let me show you some very underutilized print on demand products. So there's more than just t-shirts and decorated products. Right here, I typed in cosmetics print on demand. If you really scroll down, you'll see things like start your own makeup line. To me, that's honestly amazing. So you can slap your own label and pretty much white label different types of products, lipsticks. They have a whole package going on right here. You got soaps, you got palettes. To me, that's incredible what you can start without having to be able to create these products yourself. Now, same process, I typed in supplements. And check this out there's lots of different products here as well I'm gonna open these up now check it out we got stuff like turmeric gummies vegan protein i almost want to hop on here and do this myself because i buy turmeric gummies all the time you have amino acids you got coffee you have pearl powder so there's lots of different products that you can actually use with the leverage of print on the map like I said, even though sometimes the margin is not what you want it to be, you have to be able to leverage products and start getting sales first. And if you ever do want to take it back in house, now that you already have sales, you have a way to fund the equipment that you want to purchase and then do it in house yourself. And this is also a way that you can test the market before you even go out and buy equipment that you don't even know if you can use to get sales. So that's a quick print on demand tutorial for you. If you need help scaling your Etsy print on demand business, I do have five week coaching programs. You can book a call down below with my team and we will see if you are fit for this opportunity. My name is Rich. Feel free to click that subscribe button, hit the like button. Give me a comment if this video helped you out. That's a quick print on demand tutorial. I'll see you next time.